Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Welcome to the last day of September. It is the last day. I can't even believe it. So let's see. This thing says I've went live. Let's yep. see if that's true or not. I've got you live. All right. Well, you get me live every Hello, day. Everyone. Oh, and you're... I had to turn my speaker off. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Hi, Madison. Hi, That's Madison. That's the only one name I see so far. Hi, Emily. Hi, Anna. Hi, Beverly. Ah, oh, thank you for the birthday wishes. I had a very nice day. I don't know why this is stalled. Or maybe it isn't, and I'm just not there. Yeah, it's not over there. <laughs> it's not stalled. Oh, hi, Kristen. Hello. Hi, Karen. Hi, France. <laughs> About the chicken strips. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, Angela. Hi, Janet. How are ya? Oh, we've got someone from New Zealand. Woohoo! Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean from Hi, North Deborah. Dakota. Well, come on in. Let's get started. So... Um, in fact, let's just start with the cards this yeah, time, okay? Yeah, you got it. I, I want to show everyone, this is one of my birthday presents I got. I have been wanting one of these for a while because I tend to um, not have anything to hold when I'm... I'll be using them tonight, I guess, when I'm embossing. But it's a reverse tweezers, so let me find something here. So you can do this, and then you don't have to burn your hand. There you go. Love it. That was from Madison. So thank you, Madison. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to share. Look at all these cards. Oh my gosh. I got so many cards. Wow. Um, you I, have a lot of friends. And I didn't even get like all of... These are just the handmade ones. I had oh, other cards too. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so look at this beauty right here. Ah, I love... The sunflower I know isn't that gorgeous that is it's cool. embossed too that is so cute yes and it's mm. there's some decorations on the inside and then of course she decorated this is from Kristen Wenzel this is one of my downlines so isn't that gorgeous Wow They're I good. love the They're new good. brass color because I love and it's so shiny so that one's cute I hope that inspires someone this goes to a different card here we go Okay, then this one is from Sherry. So thank you, Sherry, for this. I love the little um, detail here of the blue. I don't know what it is because it's not stamping up, but it's it's raised in the blue area. So isn't that cute? And then this is from another downline. I love this. This is like one of my favorite... Um, uh, fall stamp sets this year, but look at what she did. She is like super crafty. She does a lot of craft sewing, but it is a cute little pumpkin. Um, what do you call these? Coaster. Coaster. That's it. I was. I don't know why I was doing this. Coaster. Coaster. I guess that's where you put your glass. Yeah. So this was from Emily. So thank you, Emily. Oh, look at this beauty. This is from France. So look at how this sits up. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that awesome? And this is this paper that I could just die for. And now she writes her stuff always on a, another piece. But look at that on the inside. Kind of a trifold, isn't it? Yeah, well, I wouldn't say a trifold. I think it's I think it's a... I had one of these that I was going to do with the posy set. And um, I don't know what the name of it is. I had one and then... The time went up and yeah. I wasn't able to get it done. Here's one I got from my upline. And this is a retired set now, but it's so cute how she did that. I like how she used the embossing folder with the ink behind it. That's there pretty. Yeah. And this one, I gotta try to remember who everything's from. This is from Debbie. Oh my gosh. This is um, paper from a couple years back. Still so stinking cute though. Isn't that really pretty? Mm-hmm. And rich razzleberry. This one is gorgeous. Oops. 
Oh, like, this is from Feisty. I like them colors. Yeah, these are, of course you would. These are the <laughs> colors that Bill picked for a few, a few couple weeks ago. Yeah, a few weeks back. He picked these colors. So thank you, Nancy, for that. We call her Feisty. Um, this one was from my upline also. And it was just a little something something. So this is another one from my downline. This is from Karen. So thank you, Karen. I love the paper on the jade. It's so pretty with the jade um, bow. This one, you guys, was from Jean. And talk about going a bit above and beyond. This is, um, this is uh, some emboss reverse that she did. And then she added, I'm really into feathers big time and she knows that. So she used the feather stamp, matted it down, and then she made me a matching um, bookmark. That's Isn't that cool. just gorgeous? Mm -hmm. I love that. So thank you. Here's one. This one I believe is Beth Ann. Yep, Beth Ann. And I love that she use this paper with that um i love bling 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 is that awesome yeah and then she used the gilded on here so this thing really sparkles gorgeous i'll wait till you see this one so most of you know my husband served and he's a retired uh, army officer and so this one is another one from my downline and she made this to thank him for serving is this a cute pocket card or yeah, what is. i like it thank you this is from angie and she says and thank you for for the best ed mcmahon to pammy's johnny carson <laughs> you betcha so this one was a knock at the door and there was kind of um, a, a bag dropped off and there was a few cards in it. This was just one of them, but I, I had to share it because it's used. I love camo. I'm keeping this. Okay. You don't get to keep okay. it. I'm keeping it. It's yep. so cute. I have a few friends that serve. So her son made this one for him. It's awesome. This is from Colton. I can't think of the name of the set. It's that real rustic nature one. But isn't this stinking cute? Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Colton. He loved it. Thank you. Then this one's from Angie, too. And I love this background. That is awesome. She those on? Well, we're going to have to get her to demonstrate That's that because right. that is cute. And I mean, it's down here too. I don't know what she did exactly, but I love it, love it, love it. So thank you, Angie. And talk about going above and beyond. She did the goat one. And since I don't like to share what, what she wrote, I'm going to hide this. Let's see here. But I have to show you. So... She called me an old goat. I'm only 35. That's right. <laughs> so, um, it's so cute. But look at this. She used a retired punch, and she made it look like the goat took a bite oh, out of it. It's <laughs> so cute. Very talented. I have a very talented team. And last but not least, this beautiful card. Can anyone guess? Is anyone guessing? Uh, not yet. We haven't got to it. <laughs> this one is from Bill. He made me a card. Yay, Yay Gotta Bill! Get out of here to do it. <laughs> and it's it's all current stuff too. So it's such sweet. I won't let you guys see the inside because it's so romantic. But I just had to share. So go, Bill. Let me put these up. What did they do with the that bag? Took the bag. Okay, I took the bag. So mm -hmm. you didn't give it to me. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's no, get. <laughs> I was ready to get going. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quick on the announcements. Paper pumpkin. It's a subscription. It's a little box that comes to your mailbox each month. This next one I'm really looking forward to. It says ringing in. Uh, bells are ringing, angels are singing. I always think that they give hints. They've got a lot of bows and, um, what are these called? Bows, that's bows. it. 
um, but it says uh, joy to the world on it. It says that this is enough supplies to make eight elegant holiday cards. Elegant. So you have until September 10th to join up with Paper Pumpkin. October 10th. October 10th. That's right. September 10th That's is gone. That's right. <laughs> um, good thing you're keeping track of me. That's right. Uh, and I will post a link to this if you're watching this later on YouTube so that you can uh, sign up. Okay. Now, our stamp and cut emboss machine. Now, this is the standard size. is on sale for everyone to buy. I did get one, and it is awesome. It is. It's a smooth rolling machine. It really is. What What's different, I think, really, is one, it folds up so it saves space. Two, this area right here where the rollers go through become paired to the big shot is wider. So you're not rubbing your plates. And it doesn't catch. It doesn't, yeah, it really doesn't catch. It, it's a little room. But it also comes with the magnetic cutting plate. This is different than the other magnetic cutting plate. It's a, it's a smooth sheet of heavy-duty magnetic. And it's also got a um, self-healing top to it so in the last one we had the little magnets kind of all over and then they would kind of jump on you and move on you where this one you put it on and it stays where it's at no more taping it down no more taping it down no no nope. so if you are um interested in this because you know what else you could use that in your big shot that's right you can use this in your big shot if you have that um, because I have two of them and I did try it. So that part number is 149656 and it works very well in the big shot too. Um, Bill, you know what? This is my plug to join my team, not only because it's the best team in the world, but because um, right now, Right now, you can get a Get and Go package. That's right. The Get and Go Starter Kit promotion is ending tonight at 11.59 Mountain Time. So, um, 11.59 Mountain Time if you would like to sign up to join my team. Now, you, the Starter Kit costs $99.00 and plus tax. You do not pay for the shipping. Stamping Up's gonna play for the shipping for you, but they give you $125 that you can um, purchase worth of products. You get to pick it out. So honestly, this is 120 right here. I mean, you could get this and a package of $5 embellishments and you would get two stamp sets you would get a package of um, basic rhinestones and then enough card pre-cut cardstock to make six each of two different design cards. So if eight each. eight each, sorry, eight each, sorry, sixteen total. Yep. I don't know how to add, Bill. And um, <clears throat> the thing that's really nice about this is. If you don't want to sell Stampin' Up, you don't have to sell Stampin' Up. You, as long as you meet the quarterly minimums, that's fine. Um, you do get a discount on everything that you purchase, and I think that is absolutely wonderful. I think everyone should do that. So by 11.59 tonight, so as soon as I get done um, tonight, if you need help doing that, let me know. All right, Piccadilly Play. So... Today's the last night for that, too. And since it's 11.59 Mountain Time, I'm going to go ahead and go until 11.59 Mountain Time, even though I'm Central Time. But okay, it'll be one. Keep it simple. That's right. So if you place an order tonight, um, actually, any time tonight, because I guess, I mean, it, just because I go to bed early doesn't mean anybody else does. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to know till tomorrow morning. But I have some days left. Um, for this game. So this game is you purchase $50 from my online store. You have to use the host code to qualify. You get one day that you can pick for every $50 purchase that you make. So if you spend $100, you get two days. Um, your name is entered in onto a calendar day that you pick and nobody else can get that day. So I do have some days sold. In fact, I think I sold a six today I, I can't remember 
Jean, what did you buy? Was it a six or an eight? I can't remember. But anyway, so certain, so you can't have those days. So you have to pick a few days and then I can tell you what I have available. And when you do that, I'm going to draw tomorrow for this. And I won't put in the days that weren't picked. I'm only going to put in the days that were picked because I didn't get a full month of days picked. And that means there's someone is going to win a $50 spending spree tomorrow. But wait, there's more. There is more. Um, he, I'm going to also add a the shipping and the tax on that. So it's a $61 value for you. So you shop with me using my host code, pick your day and a chance to win. So I'll probably do that tomorrow afternoon is do the drawing for that. So you might want to, if you've played and you have numbers there, you might want to tune in tomorrow tune and in see if you so won. <laughs> so, okay, this again expires tonight. Ooh. Piccadilly Parfait, so, um, I do ask you guys to give me ideas of things you want me to demonstrate, but um, there is just not enough time on Facebook Live, and there is not enough time in my Quickadillies and my Fast Friday. So I have come up with something else where I'm going to be doing some tips and tricks. Maybe I'll demonstrate a card. Maybe it'll be like at noon on the lunch hour so that if you have a chance to tune in and just enjoy a little break but there's gonna be there there's not gonna be a set time on these I'm just gonna either go live or I'm gonna post a video the first one is just a video that I did and I want to say it's I don't know 15 minutes or so but I have had questions how do you do this and it seems to be everyone wants to know how I clean my stamps how I clean my stamp pads how I it's a, so I have a whole video of how I clean everything from blocks to even this um, little mat and so um, that's going to be posted probably the end of this week next week Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So this is a new thing. It's just going to be a little treat. There'll be a little tip or trick. And then the last thing, Woo you guys who are already um, joined my Piccadilly Perks, but I have a perks program for every $35 you spend, you earn a letter to the name Piccadilly when you get all 10. And I think Jean added to hers today. I think she's two away from her next perk. You get a $25 shopping spree on me, and I pay the shipping, and I pay the um, handling on that. So it's about a $35 value. And what's cool is... If you buy the $50 that's right. in you here, you still get your perks for that. So that's pretty awesome. I'm super close to a goal, so I'm hoping some of you take me up on this tonight. I'm. This is Stampin' Up's end of year and uh, end of um, the month, and so I'm trying to reach my goal, and I'm just a few hundred dollars short. So let me know if you have any problems after this show. Bill? What's your job? Promotion. What do you get? What did you forget to tell everyone? Well, I haven't yet. I'm okay. For you to finish. Okay. There's a new host code. Well, that, that's true. There is a new host code, and as long you can use the old host code that's still posted, or you can use this new host code if you'd like. And actually, while you say that, I let me pull this out. There has been some confusion and some trouble on using a host code. So when you get to the point where you're at your order summary and there's the hot pink, it's hot pink on the Stampin' Up! page, there's the hot pink checkout bar. Right underneath of that says coupon code and right under that says host code. Put the host code in there and then you have to push apply and then go to your checkout. That's all you have to do. You just type that host code in right underneath of there and push apply, and it will apply it to me. So thank you very much. And okay. also, what? make sure they share this so they can That's get That's right. Yes, if you'd like to get in my drawing for the cards that I'm making and stuff um, tonight, then um, for next week, you need to share my video. Okay, so I always start off simple. I've got a couple of things tonight. Um, first thing I want you to know is the DSP that I'm going to be using or designer series paper or now they're calling it pattern paper is plaid tidings. It comes in six by six bundle. It's a pretty thick little bundle. There's four sheets of each paper and I chose this for my first Halloween card and 
I will also be using the brick and mortar 3D embossing plate. This thing is really cute and because I'm going to be using this little haunted house, I wanted the brick and mortar because I think it kind of makes it look spooky. Although I am not one to watch spooky movies or anything, so okay, what this goes down there. Sorry. Okay. Um got stuff kind of screwed up here. So I've got sizes for you. I've got my card base. This is Rich Razzleberry, so my mom will like this because this is her very first favorite color when we, she was first introduced to Stampin' Up! And I think she would cry if it ever went out. And is Joy on here? Joy is? Because Joy likes this one too. So cool. we're going to be doing a lot with... She likes this in Blackberry Bliss. So... I'm using the Everything Essential um, kit. Now, it uh, stamp set. Now, it is a bundle, and let me grab the tag, or do I have it someplace else? I have it someplace else for another. Nope, it's in another one. It has a matching tag punch with it, so if you buy them together, you can get it at a 10% discount. But tonight, I'm only going to be using this image out of here, so I didn't do that. I cut the piece of pattern paper and I love the plaid using that kind of rich razzleberry and black side. Kind of sharp. Yeah, at one and a half by five. Are there any questions or anything? Because I... Oh, um, no, they love the rich colors. Yeah, I do too. Um, no spookies, just curiosity. A cutesy Halloween. Yeah, I... Bill and I don't watch spooky movies or anything like that. So, um, and then I have a piece to mat it. And this is the Mango Melody at one and three quarter by five and a quarter. And let me just show you. It gives just a little border to it. And I'm just going to place those. together here using my green glue yeah, okay. I even used it and put it away right mm -hmm. he did he made that whole thing I was so proud I was not in the room or anything I kick you out and then I used the granny apple green which reminds me of feisty and it's cut at two and um a quarter by three and a half. Now, let me pull that brick and mortar out. So, as with anything, when you use our dies or our um, embossing folders, they have the pattern goes one way. I wanted the paper to have the three and a half inch going this way, so I ran it through. And in my new Stampin' and Cut, I could run it through this way. I didn't have to always put the front edge in, so it was kind of nice because I'm very visual, I guess, that way. There we go. So, Let's take this and let's just get our um, card done. Now, I picked this because I wanted to show you that this stamp set could be used for more than just what the bundle was intended for, like, tags. And let me get this on here. I'm just going to place this down with a little bit... This is, this is my design if you like it, and if you don't, it spills. <laughs> I want to see some man hands. <laughs> man hands. We've been, he's been going by the name Squatch around here lately. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to, you know me, I kind of like, things not so even so I'm just gonna go right over this so now I've got the background done now I used the layering um, circles and there's two circles and I pulled out the ones that go the second in on the layering circles because they go inside each other but the bundle didn't look right to me and I'm going to show you this I, I wanted a less of a border on the one so for I used the largest one to cut out a circle die of the mango melody and then I have two, two this one 
I cut this out because I want you to see this one and then there's this one. So it depends on what size border you want. It they're so very it could go either way really. You see? Yeah. So it just depends if you want to use your punch. Sometimes punching is easier. But for tonight's show, this was the two and a quarter punch, circle punch. For tonight, I'm going to use the bigger one. I'm going to ink this up in black because I've already got it um, cut. Just so that you guys don't have to wait for me to run something through the cut and boss machine. So I'm going to ink this up in the memento ink. And hopefully get this even. What are you giggling about over oh, there? Oh, uh, Tim is saying that he'd rather have the. Oh, Tim. Stars. Tim, Tim, Tim. Okay. What are we going to do about him? Okay, I need. I'm going to use the light granny apple green here. They like your nail color. They do, thank you. Well, finally, I get a lot of, that's the funny thing is you do demonstrations to do cards and I get a lot of comments about my nail color. So I'm gonna come in here with the Granny Apple Green and I'm gonna color in the ribbon that says Trick or Treat. Don't worry, Tim, I'll be sending trick-or-treats for you at work. I'm not telling that because I want them tomorrow. You don't get them tomorrow. You have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to use, let's see. I want to use the Mango Melody, but I think that that one kind of dried out, so I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to go in here. This is the dark daffodil. It'll give the same effect. And I'm just going to go in and, is that a window or a porch? We'll make it a window. Make the creepy little windows match. Wahahaha. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I'm going to layer this. Have you guys been starting like your fall and Christmas and cards yet? I have not. Yeah. <laughs> Every year. I'll help you. Okay. Well. So let's take this and pop it up. See that I'm I I'm using scraps. This was something else that didn't go right, so there we go. <laughs> And a lot of what I'm, um, what I've been doing, like with the strips and stuff, is trying to teach you guys to use scraps. So I'm gonna stick this right here. Isn't it cute so far? And then I love this. This is the organdy glitter organdy ribbon in the basic black. So we'll just make a quick bow as it gets glitter everywhere. <laughs> It's like snowing glitter. It's like the chunky glitter, too. Yeah. Click, click, click. <laughs> yeah. It's leaving glitter. Okay. I like this stuff because you can kind of um, work it the way you want it to be. And we're going to trim this off. There we go. Glitter. This is the, a must for any of your Halloween projects. I use it for other stuff. Look at all that glitter. <laughs> That'll be all over. We'll put, we'll sprinkle some in your hair. There we go. You don't have any hair. I do too. I got a beard. What, on your beard, okay. Mm -hmm. And then, we're going to take this bow. So this was the quick and easy card. And it's so stinking cute. I love it. I love it. Isn't that cute? Easy and fun. What are they saying? Anything? They love it. They love it. You just say that to say that, don't no. you? Okay, hand me the next one. So, the next thing that we're going to do is really quick and cute. 
I am using the Little Treats um, bundle, and it has this cute little package. And this thing takes no time whatsoever to make. And I mean, I'm serious. So here's what it cuts out to be like. I've already run it through. This already has slits in it and a tab. So when you put it, when you cut it out and you fold all of the tabs, look at this. You push them together. Oh, that's kind of cute. Isn't it? That's it, you guys. It is like that simple. There's no glue in or anything, unless you want to. And then you can just put chocolate, because who doesn't want chocolate? Back off, Bill. Ah. Isn't that cute? And I then it's that. got little little tags to like seal it up. And I was going to use, and I did use, well, let me go on with this really quick. Let's stamp the same image. Let's make this match. Let's stamp this exact same image. I think I'll do better this way. There we go. And right there. And I'm going to show you a trick. This is the rectangle postage punch, which does not come with this bundle. This is a different one, but I wanted to show you something really cute with this. We're going to do the exact same thing. These can be made so quick. So if you have a kiddo in school that needs to take treats, this is a cutie patootie one mm -hmm. that they can help you with. Get this colored in. Jean thought that was my chocolate. So did I. Yeah, no. It oh. was for the... It was for the... But it may be easier to eat the chocolate before we tie it shut. So when you come in here, it may be easier, yes, Bill, but you're not going to do that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so when you come in here to, to stamp this, or to punch this, come down close like that and then oh you know what this is from another thing you can come back in with a post-it note like so right on your image and you can come back in and punch it down oh. so that you have and let me show you the finished product or the smallest scallop square will go in here also. And that's what I have here. So either way, this is the smallest scallop square. But then you have kind of a matching if you have that special someone that you want to give a treat to. Now this is the Playful Pets Combo Pack that I used for the Baker's Twine. And then this is the Bumblebee Ribbon that I used to put on here. But isn't that adorable? I think it's adorable. Are they saying anything? Uh, they just don't. You're not. Tim's being something. Yeah, he wants to know if he could use his pallet of toilet paper to make some of this stuff. Tim, <laughs> go away. No, don't tell him that. <laughs> okay, so now we're going from that. We're going to switch gears here, and we're going to do another project. Okay. Hello, Isabel. Izzy thinks she gets the chocolate She's now. Like, I get the chocolate. So I wanted to do the quick stuff because I'm going to take a Christmas set and make it Halloween. And we're going to do a little bit of beautiful inking. And this is for me so I remember what that says. Okay. So do you guys remember... A couple of years ago, this stamp set, Winter Woods. Well, I had seen someone do something with this once, and I thought it was super cute. And these look like scary woods, right? They, they don't do. necessarily have to like be the for the holiday stuff. Christmas season, thinking of you this season and with its snow. So I am going to use a couple of um, images from this stamp set. It does have... 
dies with it. And I don't think these get 10% if they're bought together. But I'm going to use this and then I'm going to use this little piece down here. So this is Winter Woods. You can find that in the regular catalog. And then also last year they had this set and it is a wish for everything. And if you don't have this, I know it's an expensive one, but I highly recommend it because this has everything for Father's Day, Mother's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Halloween, um, the All dies. The yeah, it has the holidays, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, and then it has greetings that you can have on the inside, which is why I, I had this sitting out because I have it there and I knew I wouldn't be able to read it. Wishing you trick-or-treating, wishing you a trick-or-treating, candy-eating, frightful, delightful time. This set, um... I don't know. I'd have to look, and I'm sure one of my Stampin' Sisters are on. I'm not sure if this one comes at a 10% discount now or not, but I highly recommend it. So, taking out these sets, this one is going to be really easy. We're taking a basic black card base. Is she making you hold her? Yeah. Aw. Papa... The big guy is on the big. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to use the two-inch circle punch on a piece of scrap, and I try to teach you guys all the time to use up your scraps. On one side, nobody's going to see that that part of a pineapple that I had stamped was there. But we're going to use this scrap and I'm going to get all these colors. The color palette that I chose is Night of Navy, Rich Razzleberry, Mango Melody, and Pumpkin Pie. And I need room. So I'm pulling out my... Pulling out the brushes. Yes. I got these off of Amazon because someone asks me every time. I have them in categories. I don't necessarily have one for every color that I have. So my blue greens are in this brush and I label them and my red purples are in this brush. I have a couple of pieces of Whisper White. One is for the inside, one is for the outside. So here's the outside and um, it is cut at four by five and a quarter. I am going to take a little bit of our old snail and stick right in the middle here and then I'm going to tack it. Yeah, so it's not quite as tacky, but I want this to kind of hold it into place. And then I'm going to take this two inch circle and I'm going to do the same thing. Now you can use our um, stamp and seal too and kind of detack it detack it a little bit but I didn't because I have that snail left over and I only have one of our stamp and seal art at the moment so I want to save it for the good projects that I really need it to stick to so I'm going to take this and I don't know uh, let's go right about here you think oh, yeah that looks good okay and I'm just going to cover a little area and then the fun begins so let's open up our stamp pads here Ooh, you got darts and I Yes, I got it all. So, I always start when I am stamping. I always start with a light color, usually first, when I'm stamping and when I'm, like, if I'm going, if I'm stamping a flower in a yellow and I'm going in the same color family and I'm going to an orange I'm stamping in the yellow first and then going to the orange and you don't have to clean your stamp in between well with the brushes I kind of have the same um, mentality on that so why do I have that one I need a my other one here what is this my yellow orange I have no clue okay so I'll make sure. Okay, this is in the Mango Melody. Always test it. I already love it. So I'm going to go right through the middle here. And right over that piece. 
That piece like a mask. That's a, it is a mask, exactly, Bill. Yeah. I love the fact that you're just learning this with me. You betcha. And I'm going to come down. Now I'm going to layer these colors so they're going to lay right over each other. Okay. Then I'm going to take, this is the pumpkin pie. And I'm going to go right over that. This is a little bit darker. That's why I could just go right into it. Even though it didn't come out dark. Maybe I need to get some more on here. Or maybe I did too much off. Well, I need to get more. I may have detacked it too much. Why is it sliding? It was sliding on me. Yeah. And so now I've got a darker spot than what I want. But we'll make it work. Okay, is it on? So I want this down at the bottom to be darker. There we go. Takes a little bit of time for blending, but it's so pretty when it's done. Okay, I'm gonna leave that out. Now I'm gonna go to my um, red and purple, which is perfect for this, because it is, yeah. I'm going to go right back over what I just did, just like I did here. I layered them. I'm going to do the same thing. Northern Idaho. Woohoo! Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Is Nicola here? Yes, she is. I don't know how she stays up like that. She's laying cozy in a blanket because it's cold, she said. It was cold here today. I thought we've got the heat on and so you see how I'm kind of layering that up <clears throat> now let's go for the blue this is our night of navy so this is our dark blue Ooh, I like it. do you mm -hmm. kind of gives it that twilight yeah and we're going to get this a little darker here. I'm going to go in on this. Just layering, <clears throat> layering them up. Hi, Jackie from Pittsburgh. Hi, Jackie. And then I'm going to go back in with this because I want more of this melding in. He's telling, he's telling the dog to go to work. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Well, she knows that there's treats. You just kept saying a word that she understands, Bill. <laughs> you can't say that word. Can't say that word. She's sniffing around like, hmm, where are they? Hmm. Well, someone left me some scratch cupcakes tonight at my door. And, um... Okay, so let's take a look at this and see if it's where I want it to be. Pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. That is awesome. Look at that background I now have. Mm. I love that. Can you guys see? So I've just masked it. And, you know, you can put place it back down and do more if you want more. It doesn't matter if this goes in the exact right position as long as it's covering that. But so pretty. So let's do a little stamping now. I need to get these out of the way or I will stick my finger in it. It's, what? Yeah, it's just one of those things. Okay, I'm pretty happy with it. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take that image of those kind of dead weathered trees. 
and I'm gonna stamp them up in basic black. So we're gonna do like a silhouette thing. These are red rubber stamps. They're probably my most preferred stamp as far as the image that comes out. Look at that, Bill. That's awesome. Doesn't that, isn't that getting creepier? Okay, so now what did I do with the... I thought I had the... No, the... Make sure I have the. Where did? Here it is. It's over here. The image that's. It's this image that's like the ground. It's that image. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that because we can't have the trees just floating, right? There needs to be. I'm gonna stamp off here and look at it. Yeah. We'll do some there. And some there. They're saying it's spooky looking. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love it. So now I've grounded those. So I'll get rid of that. Now I took the bats. Where did the bats come from? From the same stamp set that I used on the last two projects, they have little bitty bats. And I thought, oh yeah, I can do that. Let's see. So let's have some bats flying around here, right? Maybe we'll have some right there. Happy bats? That's right. They can live wherever you want them to. <laughs> These are the Bob Ross bats. Bob Ross bats. <laughs> You're happy. So, okay. I've got that. I'm going to pull this up and give this a minute to dry while I bring in the other piece and I'm going to use the wishing you trick or a trick or treating candy and eating frightful delightful time. I thought that was really cute. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out the rich razzleberry since that's kind of been the theme and I'm going to stamp it in that night since I don't have the well, let's get the stamp on right. And I'm just going to put that right here in the center of the card. And then I'm going to pull the bats back out. Let's put... Oh, they're going to go inside too, huh? Yep, yeah, let's put a few in here. I guess here might as well right so now I have the inside of my card now you want to do all of this first and then you want to heavily heavily we're gonna do a little bit of embossing so I'm going to heavily powder this section do you see the fog rolling out? Yeah, wow, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> that's pretty heavy, isn't it? Well, the reason why is there's a bunch of ink on here, and I'm going to be using some white emboss powder. So I didn't like, and you can use whatever you want to, but I didn't care for the sentiment that the thinking of you this season from that stamp set so i decided to pull out a wish for everything and i'm going to use the happy and the halloween for from this set so let's get this out and i'm gonna let's make sure i got this in the right spot this time i'm going to use the versamark and i'm going to come in here and stamp the Halloween and then the happy kind of goes up at an angle here and I think that's kind of cool but I may have to stand you can tell it's well that was not my best work but 
you'll get the idea. I'm going to throw the embossed powder on it. You can tell the season has changed because my voice is so That's deep. Allergies. Seasonal. Yeah. I sound like you. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Heat up my embossed gun. Use my brand new tool here. Try to do this on the back so you guys can see it, but oh, my happy's upside down. Oh goodness, that's it's why. Happy. <laughs> that's why. That's why it didn't look right. My happy is facing this way. Nice, huh? <laughs> so I'm not gonna glue this. I'm gonna make another one. <laughs> For the winner because I will make another one but then this will be on the outside this goes on the inside and then I had someone recently ask me about what do you do when you have your powder left over all you do is wipe it down and then it goes back so this was the card let me show you the here I'll show you the finished product oh look just mm, like that just like that <laughs> So, let me get the other product. Where did the other ones go? Oh, they were right there. Oh, did you throw them all in here? You did. I did? Oh, I was just trying to get them out of my way. So, let me pull this off because that's distracting. We have the matching. And another idea so i hope that this teaches you something it gives you ideas of how to use stamp sets other than what they're bought in the kit for so i use the same um this set at least in every project this one was only for the bats um and then i use the winter one for something different but this comes with a tag punch and that's what fits in with this but you can use these sets for anything like I said. So, awesome. What do they think? They love them. They saying anything? He's having to rock a dog. I wonder if she's sick. Or, is she sick? I don't think so. I think she just wants to be old. Aww. Okay, so, should we do a drawing? There's a drawing. You guys, I really appreciate you tuning in each week and um, letting me share with you my talents. I hope that I teach you things. Continue to please... Um, let me know of things that you want to learn um, and if you're interested in buying any of these products guess what I sell them you can go to my online store right here at the top of the screen there's a shop now button a blue shop now button and it'll take you right to it um, oh also they sign up for my newsletter. I have a newsletter and I have found out that sometimes people are having troubles from mobile devices, a pad or a phone to sign up from it since the new Facebook change. But I, I put a link today, if you go down my wall, I think it's a couple um, back that uh, talks about um, uh, it has a link to my blog and if you go to my blog you can also get to my store you can sign up for um, if you want to sign up to be a, a member of my team and you can sign up for paper pumpkin all right there on my blog so check for that link question yes what was the name of the treat die again the, the treat one yeah. let me pull that out this is so cute you guys so this is called little treats you do get 10% when you buy it together. It has a spooky spider. It has like a, a wedding ring or diamond ring. It's got Christmas ornaments, uh, a Santa hat, and then it's got this. So it says a little treat for someone sweet. Uh, birthday wishes for you. Ho, ho, Merry Christmas to and from, especially for you. And happy, happy Halloween. And thank you for coming like if it was... a. Uh, um, like a wedding shower type of of treat but oh I want to show you this too while I'm at it that stamp set the the essential everything I made another one and I just did it with uh, the pumpkin here instead of the trick-or-treat 
This one has Joy to the World. I have something really cute coming out with that. Um, here's a good Valentine's one, You and Me. Season's Greetings with the Deer, and then Be Mine, like for Valentine's, and then a to and from. Has hearts, snowflakes, and uh, bats. So both are really cute sets. You, both of them you get 10% off if you buy in the bundle. I did not use the bundle tonight for the Halloween stuff, but I will get this posted so share my video if you would like to get in the drawing so tonight i'm sending um we'll do two drawings and each person will get um a set of the cards okay. i will make that one that i had the happy halloween <laughs> i will remake that all right you're gonna draw two, two at names. once yep there we go okay whoa let me grab them He's got the dog. So Amy Speckerman. Oh, thank you, Amy, for sharing again. I appreciate that. And Alicia Arnold. And Alicia, I do not know you, so message me, and I will get these cards out to you. You guys, thanks so much for coming by tonight. I awesome. really appreciate it. Saturday's next. The card making day. Oh, yes. Yeah. Saturday's World Card Making Day. And I'm going to try to talk Bill into going live. Yeah, maybe. And making a card. We'll see. So, <laughs> all right. I will catch you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.